Hey guys, this is Omurka with that episode of Your Brother's Eyes for Conquest of Paradise as the Apache and we finally have a true king. It's not just some kind of chief. And we are waiting for our chance to westernize. But we are right, right now we are overextended because because we've taken like three provinces from the Maya and yeah, we are working on that. So let's unpause the game. Actually, there is one more thing I want to do, and that's move some troops over there. I know I pulled them back, but I feel like if they attack me, right now I'm like two technology levels behind. How is my thingy looking? Army tradition isn't that bad. It could be much better, of course, so that's another thing. And yet another thing is that I... I will go for at least two ideas in the defensive ideas because this is what I need the most defense against them and this one will actually help with my army tradition as well over time and the other one will boost my army morale so much that it's not even funny so I will go with this one there is like no other I would uh, like to take anyway so let's do it I don't think we will get up to this level, but yearly army tradition is very much worth it and one of armies plus 25% is another another ni nice thingy. So our land is pretty good, pretty good. Our legitimacy is the only problem really, really right now. So let's, let's get on the ship. Let's send these guys over there. And I can also bolster my armies. I can build more. Seven more guys. So, I shall do it. And I will build a couple of cannons. About six of them. Yeah. Mm, like this. Five, six. So I can, have, I can have like two armies with three cannons per army, which is good. I hope I'm building this and not those, this. But we will see. <laughs> And the last one, I guess, will be the horseman. One of them. Yeah, let's add one of these guys. We have none. So we can as well just get one. Nice. We are still colonizing these worthless provinces because I want to have this whole piece. And yeah. Oh, oh, I died. I died. It's a pretty bad... Oh, it's the Regency Coaster. Okay, my air actually is fantastic. But he's only of age of 3. So for 12 years we have to stick with this poor Regency Council. Which means it increased my legitimacy. Which is good. It will drop because we have a Regency Council. But uh, we can't also start any other war. We can try to integrate someone but yeah that's about it so okay i will increase my stability of course and we are still waiting on these cores so let's unpause the game let's move my, my dudes over to the to that island and let's move back i think this should deal with our revolt risk yes great 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 and slowly ship them over I, I guess I could build a couple more flights. I think I have eight ships, so building another seven would carry over the full force for our army. Four, five, six, seven. And yeah, well, one of our armies. So, it's nice we've spent a bit of military power on the on the stuff, but as I said, maybe <laughs> I think it's worth it. So, three cannons. Well, yeah, we will send just three of these dudes to the new world. Well, to the, to the other island with the horse. And the rest will join, I guess, this army down here. So we have one good homeland army and one good 
conquesting army. I'm not sure how many dudes this can support. And one other thing, I should restart building. You know what? Let's build the march there. This will stop them from taking it over. It's for 425. Well, freaking worth it. And it, it increases this massively. So let's do it. This is like the best chance I have if I have the, the march there. This is like the first time ever, I think, I've... Okay. I had a reason to build it. Like, this is my fortress. <laughs> and I have to protect it. And I will build the other fortresses there as well, which will increase the defensiveness immensely of that, of that piece. I don't think even they, with their superior technology and numbers, will be able to take it over if I send a couple more guys over there. So our ships are finished. So let's do it like this. You can't... Oh, I'm fabricating claims. That's nice. Can I fabricate another one right off the bat? I can. Atacapa, Vichita, for example. How about the missions? Royal marriage with Zapotec, that's in... No, this, this, this doesn't work. You can't do that. You can't do royal marriage. Well, I can. What? Wow. Okay, let's check uh, all of this stuff. Offer vassalization. Apache best tax compared to Zapotec. Yeah, this is basically ruining everything anyway. I don't think we will be able to get there. Uh, but it's interesting. Interesting option, especially as right now we are kind of stuck out of wars for a decade and a little bit more. Uh, how is our console looking? Yeah, there's a couple of dudes there. Hmm. Let's bump it down a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. I have a lot of admin power, so I can just as well just squish it all the way down. And we should be building constables and temples as well. Oh, I will build it there and there, of course, for sure. We are building the march over there. And the... the this courthouse. So I have temples everywhere, I guess. There is no option to build anymore. And how about some star forts? I will build it there right, of, right after the next one. I wonder if it like re replaces the next one, the first one. I'm not sure. I don't think I can. Uh, no, the rampart replaces everything. Hmm. I don't want to screw this up. Anyway, our ships are about to pick up our cannons. Where is the rest? So there should be like seven dudes. Can get on the ship right at the bat. Move. No, the ship. Move over there. And you guys can just join the fleet. Okay, so we can fabric another claim. No, I am already doing this. Yeah, Regency Council screws you over. I don't. I'm not sure how. What what this means. Base tax compared to Zapotec. Like my best base tax is great. Much bigger than theirs. If I can even see it, I can't, but yeah. Minus 98 prestige. Hmm. Supportable. Zapotec peasants. Uh, if it was like a bunch of our dudes. Like we've gained the county up there, that would be great. So, ships are almost ready. We will... Let's split this so we have exactly what we really want. So it will be... Oh, it will be 15 guys. And this will be minus... Yeah, this. So, this will go get on the ship. You can move down there for now. What? It's 19. That's wrong. Oh, that's right. Huh? Four. Now it's now it's the right piece. No. You get on the ship, and you try to move you up there as well. I hope it can support this 
big of an army. So that's it. Maybe there's an idea or something that will increase. Wow, this would be great. What do we need? Economic ideas. Oh, completed. Something nice. Oh, you can take this. I think I will do it. I think it's well worth it right now. Maybe I should have, should have done that a long time ago. But national reward risk. Keeping it down is great. Uh, no. Maybe. Well, I have no navy, really. I have just a bunch of transports, so that's fine. They don't need like, some grand captains. Okay, we can keep this army there. We put a leader there as well. We can hire one for free. So let's hope it will be a good one. Ah, uh, it could be better. It could be worse. And I guess we can keep our fleet over there as well. Or we can move these guys closer so they are around to support this army so that's what i will do so we will pick them up we will not ship them all the way because i don't think we, we can support this many I'll tr i will try it i will try but if it doesn't work i will keep it there and hmm well with these fleets around i don't think it would work but but <laughs> Marriage with Zapotec. I, I can row marriage them, but I can't do anything with this. Like, I can't. Pachi diplomatic reputation plus zero. Maybe? Hmm. I can build a building for the diplomatic reputation. Wow, this one is great. See, even these are like super cheap thanks to our ideas. I was almost sure there was a building for that, but there is none. Hmm. Well, we will see. What else can I build? Workshop. Const oh, constable. That's right. Okay, up there. Oh, that's about it. Armories. Yeah, armories everywhere. Like the. The, the the huge building, the marsh, is increasing it by 500. It's like 10 of these. More. 20! It's well worth the money. This also doing some other stuff, like... The missionary strength. But, yeah, I don't want to bleed all the money, though. So I will do it, but... The next thingy will be... I'll be a little bit more cautious about this. Ships are on the way. Okay, okay. You'll be discovered. That's fine. And let's move them over there. Maybe they can get there. Still building that marsh or is it built? It's built. So I have 209. But the, the fort is still one, so I think I can I can build the earth rampart there on top of the march. And this will improve it even more. Like, I will make it a fortress. A fortress they can get through, hopefully. Okay. Still the same stuff, so let's fabricate claims on another province. Let's improve our relations with these guys as well. Yeah. I wonder if it like can fit there. Oh it can as well. Oh this is this is great. I can't really commit more than that. I need something to deal with rebellions at home. So yeah. Let's move our ships to safety. We have a general, we have a grand army over there. Well, this is kinda well, stupid. <laughs> you should have much more cannons and well, I think it's fine. Nice. This will speed this up. 
It's almost finished. Now we have to just wait and hope that they will not declare war on us. Building the rampart. I wonder how much it will increase the defensiveness. Oh. Everything is nice and even. We have some legitimacy. We aren't losing that much actually. Thanks to our prestige. Oh no! Uh, you know what, as we are ready for this, basically, I think I will end this episode. So, this war, I, I, I still feel like it's inevitable. It will come in the next episode, or the one after that. We still need a couple of technologies. And this co these course finished, so thanks for watching guys, and until next time, bye bye.